On October 1, 2024, Franco-German Defense Group KNDS launched KNDS Ukraine LLC, marking a significant expansion of its involvement in Ukraine amid the ongoing conflict. The new subsidiary is designed to support maintenance, repair and production for equipment such as Leopard tanks and Caesar self-propelled howitzers, which are actively deployed in Ukraine. Additionally, plans are underway to produce 155mm artillery shells and spare parts using advanced technologies like 3D printing by next year, with the potential for full system production in Ukraine in the future. As of mid-2024, Ukraine operated 386 pieces of KNDS manufactured equipment, including Leopard 1 and 2 tanks, Caesar and PZH-2000 self-propelled howitzers, AMX-10 RC tank destroyers, and Jeopard anti-aircraft guns. An additional 250 units have been ordered. To maintain this extensive fleet, KNDS is partnering with local Ukrainian companies, such as Enmec for Caesar cannon maintenance and KZVV for 155mm shell production. Ukrainian personnel will be responsible for maintenance, utilizing parts supplied from France, negating the need for foreign technicians. This move is part of a broader international effort to bolster Ukraine's defense capabilities, as over 40 nations have participated in the Ukraine Defense Contact Group, coordinating defense resource deliveries. France and Sweden plan to double ammunition and explosives production capacity by 2025, while Germany, Spain, Hungary, South Africa, and Australia aim to produce 700,000 artillery shells and 10,000 tons of gunpowder annually by the same year. Other defense firms are also expanding in Ukraine. Germany's rain metal plans to set up a KF-41 Lynx armored vehicle production facility, while Norway's NAMO will license the production of 155mm artillery rounds. These collaborations are designed to localize production and ensure Ukraine's long-term capability to maintain its military hardware. Complementing these industrial investments, France plans to train a brigade of 2,100 Ukrainian soldiers, part of a broader effort to prepare 15 to 20 brigades for ongoing military operations. Sweden has also contributed, donating 50 CV-90 infantry fighting vehicles, and partnered with Denmark and the Netherlands to finance and deliver more. The agreements include plans for future CV-90 production and servicing in Ukraine, with potential for joint manufacturing ventures. In 2023 the French defense company Arquis partnered with Ukraine to establish a repair workshop focusing on French-made vehicles the Elevant Blinds VB, armored vehicles. The workshop is part of France's broader military aid, which also includes Caesar howitzers and scalp missiles. Many defense companies are launching subsidiaries or licensing production in Ukraine. Rainmetal opened a joint production facility with Ukroboronprom, including a workshop for armored vehicle repair and manufacturing. Rainmetal estimates it could generate up to $3 billion annually from its Ukrainian operations, which will supply air defense systems, armored vehicles, and ammunition. The European Union opened a Defense Innovation Office in Kiev in 2024 to foster cooperation between Ukrainian and European defense industries. Latvian firm Atlas Aerospace has established an R&D office, and Germany's Quantum Systems opened a factory in Kiev to support technological development. Northrop Grumman became the first U.S. defense company to sign a co-production agreement with Ukraine, focusing on medium-caliber ammunition. This collaboration will train a local workforce and aims to expand production to include tank ammunition and 155mm shells. Denmark plans to establish a defense industry hub in Kiev, facilitating collaboration between Danish and Ukrainian defense firms. The hub is expected to be operational by the end of 2024. Ukraine is also developing local production capacities for military vehicles and small arms. The Mbom-6 Infantry Combat Vehicle produced under a licensing agreement with South Africa's Paramount Group, has been deployed by Ukraine's 10th Separate Mountain Assault Brigade. Additionally, Ukraine is partnering with the Czech Republic for CZ Bren 2 rifle production and has set up an ammunition factory with Selyar and Bellet. These rifles, branded as Sich, are already in use by Ukrainian forces. Ukraine has also successfully developed indigenous versions of U.S. origin vehicles, including the Humvee, M113 Armored Personnel Carrier, and Max Pro MRAP, rebranded as SICAC, Karakternik, and LIS, respectively. This capability allows Ukraine to reduce reliance on external sources and ensure a steady supply of critical military equipment. The establishment of KNDS Ukraine LLC marks another step in international defense collaboration aimed at strengthening Ukraine's military capabilities. As more defense companies invest in Ukraine's defense industry, the country is positioning itself to maintain and produce the equipment necessary to continue its defense efforts.
This growing cooperation between Ukraine and global defense firms highlights the international community's commitment to supporting Ukraine amid the ongoing conflict.